Hello Year 10, I just thought I'd do a quick little tutorial on the skills you need for Excel to do um, these correlation and least squares of line of best fit activity. So say we're given a data set and I'm just going to write the data set in two columns. The first column being my X values, which is my independent values. And then the second column will be my Y values, which will be my dependent variable. Just take a second. Okay, so I have my data in my two columns. Now, if I wanted to find out the individual components of our equation, so if I wanted to find the mean of x, I can write that just so I know what this value is going to be. And then I press equals and then press the average. And that's um, a formula that is in Excel. And I'll select the column that I'm looking at and just press enter and that'll give me the mean of x and I can do the same thing for y and then if I wanted the standard deviation of x I can go equals start typing in standard and we want stdev.s and we can just do select press and select all of that column and I can do the standard deviation of y as well so equals stdev.s select and drag awesome and then I also need my correlation coefficient so that's our r and we can just go equals and then type c-o-r-r-e-l and press um, the formula um, it wants array one, so we're going to select the values in the X column and then put a comma and then we can select the values in the Y column and press enter and that's going to give our correlation coefficient. So if you wanted to find the individual components, that is how you do it. The most important one being the correlation coefficient um, in the questions that we were dealing with yesterday or last week. Um, but now if I just want to find the least squares line of best fit, I'm going to select the two columns, insert a graph. I'm going to insert a scatter plot. I'm going to go add chart element, trend line, linear forecast. And then I'm going to right click that line, go format trend line and display equation on chart. And that equation right there is our equation the equation of the line of best fit and here is our line of best fit so we can see that we have um, the m value times x plus our y-intercept um, and that is how you can check if your equations are correct awesome thanks bye